In this video, we're going to discuss why auditing is so important. So auditing is absolutely fundamental to the success of financial markets. Some people think that auditing only exists because it's required. And that's true to the extent that, for example, in the United States, uh, companies that are publicly traded are required to file audited financial statements with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Okay, Not all companies are required to have their financial statements audited. If you have a small privately owned bakery, they're not actually forced to go and, and have their financial statements audited. But even in those cases, some of those companies will decide voluntarily that they want to have their financial statements audited. And even before the SEC was created and before companies that were publicly traded in the U.S. were actually required uh, to have their financial statements audited, many firms would voluntarily have their financial statements audited. The majority of companies on the New York Stock Exchange uh, would have their, comp their financial statements audited. So why is this the case? Why would a company actually want to have their financial statements audited even if they're not required to do so? And the answer is, is that it makes the, the numbers in the financial statements more credible. Okay, so if we're thinking about the balance sheet and the income statement and so forth, these different financial statements make representations about the financial health of the company. How much cash the company has, what is their accounts receivable balance, how profitable was the company, and so forth. And nobody is going to believe these representations unless we have an objective third party. So we bring in a CPA and they come in and say, okay, we've done some tests. And we look and we've seen that actually, yes, you can trust the financial information in these financial statements. So auditing is adding value. It's creating value for financial markets by increasing the amount to which investors and creditors can actually trust the financial information that they're being given by management. Now, why does that, who cares? Why is that important? Because investors and creditors can then make better decisions about how to allocate their capital. For example, if you are thinking of buying a business and you want to know, okay, how profitable is this business? And you take a look at some financial statements of the business. How do you know you can trust those financial statements? Doesn't the owner of that business have an incentive to make the company look more profitable than what it actually is? Yes, they do. Okay, so you're not just going to believe that owner and everything they say. You're going to say, look, I want these financial statements to actually be audited so I know I can trust the information you're giving me. And if you're thinking about buying shares of stock in a publicly traded company, or if you're thinking of lending money to a company, right? If, if we've got a large bank that's thinking about lending money to a firm, they're going to want to see financial statements and not just any financial statements. They want financial information that has actually been audited so that they know they can trust it and they say, okay, this information is credible. Now we're willing to make a loan or invest in this company or so forth. Okay, so audits aren't just there because they're required uh, to be done, but in some case, the companies will actually go and voluntarily say they want an audit done. Now, let me take, let me just show you an income statement. It's actually three years of income statements, okay, from a company uh, of 2000, 1999, and 1998. And so we see here's the revenue. So you see the revenue was increasing, okay? So these amounts are in millions. So we started at 31 billion, went to 40 billion, and then went to 100 billion. So we've got increasing revenue for this company, okay? And now if we look at their profitability, if we look at the profitability, we see that the profitability started at 700 million, went to 893 million, and then went up to 979 million. So these are representations that are being made by management. The management is saying, look, look, our revenue is increasing and we've got very high revenue, $100 billion, and it's been increasing over time. We have an upward trend. Profitability is increasing. So management is making all of these representations, trying to get you to think, hey, look, this company is doing great. Now, if there was no audit at all of this information, you might say, well, how do I know that I can actually trust any of this information? How do I know this is really $100 billion? Maybe it's actually their revenue was $30 billion and they're lying to me. Or maybe they made a mistake, right? There could be fraud or there could be an error. So you don't know if you can actually trust this, this number, okay, if the information hasn't been audited. And it can't just be that somebody just signs it and says, okay, look, I've audited it. It has to be a good quality audit. You have to be able to actually trust the auditor. 
You have to be able to trust the auditor and know that that auditor, that third party that is coming in and looking at these financial statements is actually giving you a legitimate opinion that they've actually went and tested and said, okay, is this in fact $100 billion of revenue? Because sometimes we have what's called an audit failure where the auditor didn't properly do tests or and so forth. And if you want to know the name of the company here for these financial statements, the name of this company is Enron. And it turns out that we could not trust this financial information and then in fact this revenue number was overstated the company's profitability was overstated their liabilities on their balance sheet were understated so we can't trust any of this financial information and in fact enron had an auditor which was called arthur anderson arthur anderson ended up being indicted related to the audit with enron and, and so forth because of their bad behavior now, what happened? You say, well, who cares? Why does this matter? And so forth that we couldn't trust this information. Well, some people lost millions of dollars. There were a lot of people, even some employees and stuff, had some of their life savings tied up in the Enron stock. And people thought that they could trust these numbers. They thought, okay, I can, I can trust this and the information has been audited and so forth. But because it wasn't actually good quality audit and we couldn't actually trust this information, people lost millions of dollars and in some cases their life savings so auditing is absolutely critical if we can't trust the numbers and financial statements then investors and creditors might be less likely to say okay i'm going to invest in this company or i'm going to buy this business or i'm going to lend and if we have investors that don't want to buy shares of stock and they don't want to invest in companies and we have creditors that don't want to lend money to companies because they can't trust the financial information, capital markets aren't going to function.